All right, good morning. Good to see you on this old fashioned Sunday. Let's stand together. We'll let the choir sing another minute here. Let's stand together. Sing 492 years. I spent at Vanity and Pride listening at Calvary. With the choir get ready here. We're going to sing another one. Just a minute. 492. Let's stand and sing it together. 492. At Calvary. Let's sing it together on that first. Years I spent at Vanity and Pride. Thank you so much. You may be seated. 
And uh, how many of you little stuffy in here right now? Amen. I'm just a little stuffy, and so we're going to turn the air on. And we turned it off now for you, for you 95 pounders, amen, on blood thinner that's freezing to death in here. We turned it off for a minute, but us 300 pounders, I'm not talking about myself, but anyhow, we turned it on for you, amen. So we'll contact both sides. If this side will stop breathing, so this side can breathe, we'll be all right with it, amen. So we'll try to make it just right for you, okay? Let's hang on the choir as we sing another one, all right? Help me now, okay? Yeah.
through lunch up there. The bus will leave at 10. So if you haven't signed up, please do that. Thank you. Thanks also to Jackie and the ladies for all your delicious food. Hope to be back in church soon. Thanks again. Love in Christ, Melanie Fraley. Hey. I want to remind the ladies this coming Thursday is our Ladies Lift Ministry meeting, and we will be going to Linda Davis's house. Um, if you know how to get there, we'll meet there at 7. If you do not know how to get there, um, Ms. Christy McNeil will meet you here at 630. And we will be going to Linda's to watch a movie. So please come out for that. And we're going to be having finger food. Thank you. Hey. Good morning. I want to remind all the ladies that we're having a baby shower next Saturday for Courtney Smith. Hey. Uh, it'll be at 10 o'clock. And there is, I think, still a sign-up. Janet, is there still a sign-up sheet in the back? Yeah. Okay. Actually, see me after church. I think there's a few more things that we need. So see me if you can bring something next Saturday. And she's having a boy, and she's registered at Baby Zara. So uh, hey. ladies, just see me after church today. Thank you. Right. I have just one quick announcement for you. Many of you have been requesting CDs for this week. If you would like any other services on the audio and CD, you can sign up at the local center right back there at the clipboard. If you're from out of town, make sure you put your address. We can send that to you and uh, put the service date, whatever you want on there. You can also go online to our website and view all our archive service. We live stream them all uh, throughout the week. You can view them on YouTube or also on our website. So if you want to see those there in the video version, you can. But if you want a CD, uh, Mitch is back there. You can help you and sign up for that. Okay? Thank you. Hey. We're just thankful that you're here today. Thank you for coming. And we did call this friend day. It's hard to believe this is it for the camp meeting. I want to say with all my heart, my soul has been blessed this week. I tell you, I, I, I've heard preaching all my life, but we've had some of the best preaching I, I've ever heard uh, right here. And I, I, I'm, I mean, you're going to hear a preacher this morning. Here's a dear man of God. Brother Jimmy Rose, Miss Rose, and just precious, precious people, and uh, I will introduce them in just a little bit. But we just, we just had a wonderful time of fellowship. And if you're visiting here today, you can just get on in here and just enjoy yourself, fellowship with God's people. Let the Lord speak to your heart. And uh, where's the little girl last night? That where is Miss Flinching? Where is she here today? Where's huh? In the back. Where is she? Back. There, there she is. What? Give me your name again. I can't see. What's the little girl's name? Macy. Macy. I'm trying to. My brain just don't work. Uh, little Macy. Let me just tell you a little bit what happened last night. Amen. And we've been praying for souls this morning and souls last night. And I met Macy out there about where, about where Daddy, about where Daddy got under conviction. Macy hit me at the door last night. And she. I had been over to hear Macy. 10 years old or 11 years old, Macy? 11 years old. And she said, Preacher, she said, I'm going to get saved tomorrow. I'm talking about today. And I looked at her and I said, No, Macy. I said, What's wrong with right now? And she said, Well, I was just so scared. And I didn't want to because she's scared. And she didn't come up. I said, Macy, I said, Maybe we'll take care of this right now. And I went and got my wife. And she went there and took her in the other room. And that's. Uh, that's her grand grandmother back there. Is that right? Or you grandma? That's right. Grandma. So grandma and Macy and Miss McNeil went back there. And then Macy gave her heart to Christ. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Macy, I'm so proud of you, baby. And we won't embarrass you. We won't scare you in any way. We're not in the scaring business. But I'm going to tell you, Jesus is in the saving business. Amen. And we rejoice with Macy here this morning. And so we'll get her up here and shake her hands in just a little bit. But that's what happened last night. And so that's what we're looking for today. And we just want you to have a wonderful time in the Lord. Let me say a few things real quickly and get out of the way. Number, number one, no church tonight. No church tonight. We'll probably be about half dead by, by 6 o'clock tonight. But uh, we've just wore out. And so we'll let you have the evening off this evening. Uh, Brother Roger, uh, I, I, let me say this, Brother Roger Wharton that preached for, I think he's preaching over at uh, uh, Southside. Southside Baptist Church tonight. And so we might go over there and support that. Brother Rocky, you're going to be at uh, 
Harvest Baptist. Harvest Baptist Church tonight. And so there are some opportunities if y'all can't stand it and you just need some more preaching done. And you can go. And so uh, we, we, we'd love to invite you to do that as well. So uh, you keep that in mind. Uh, we, we're, we've got a game plan about when we dismiss and I'll announce it when we end of uh, getting you from here to the tent. The number one thing is to get out there and get under the tent. Once we get under the tent, we've already checked it out. It's okay. It's getting from here to there. And we've got a game plan on that. And I'll say more about that later on, okay? But uh, we want you to enjoy that. Let me say one more note. This Tuesday night, I'm going to be traveling down to Mount Airy. Mount Airy has a big camp meeting down there. Some of the fellows were here this week, Friday night. And uh, they've invited us down there. If any of you fellows want to go down to a camp meeting, it's two hours down there. We're coming right back uh, Tuesday night. So I know many of you work, but if you would like to go with the preacher, we'll have to leave here no later than 4.30, okay? And so if you'd like to go with me, then you see me uh, today. We're going to go down there and support them. It's an old-fashioned meeting, just kind of like what we had. And uh, we, we want to go down there. I love those folks down there. And we, we're going to go down there and support them as well. Okay? All right. I think that's all the necessary announcements. Ushers, you come this morning. And uh, praise God, I like the idea of what I'm seeing coming this way. This is the old-fashioned way. Brother Dennis, hold up the offering bucket right there. Hold it. Look here. Look here. Praise God. I'm telling you right now, look at this outfit coming with all these overalls on. I tell you, you're my kind of fellas right here. I don't care what to say about y'all. Y'all are my kind of fellas. Amen. And uh, so the key thing is, you know, when they go out to the barn milk the cows, which we did in these buckets right here, we just washed them out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. When they milk the cows, they fill the buckets up. So we're taking up an offering. So what does that mean in the Greek? Amen. Fill the buckets up. Hello? Amen. Well, I didn't get no amens or nothing right there. Amen. Amen. So get some, get some piece of money out. Let's help this meeting out. Bless especially your tithes and your offerings. Amen. And you give up to the Lord. We've given a lot this week. The Lord has provided. And I want to praise you for all that you've done. Ladies, I want to say ahead, thank you for all your sacrifices and all the cooking and all the work. Every meal has been outstanding this yeah. week, just outstanding, and I, I can't praise you enough. So let's pray, thank the good Lord for the offering, and just praise his name for it, amen. Brother Vernon, pray and thank the good Lord for what he's done in the offering today. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
that's all right. When the rolls call up yonder, I'll be there. But we appreciate your coming and sharing today. It's been a good day. The Lord bless us. Pastor was talking a while ago about the offering. As long as I live, I'll never forget this meeting. My brother and I were in Fort Worth, Texas years ago. I uh, had these three preachers, all of them sitting together. Amen this, amen that. But when they were having prayer, getting ready for the offering, all of a sudden those fellows had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the preaching you ought to aim in the offering. Don't you think so? But anyway, stand with the fellowship together yes, for just a few minutes. Right. No.